Hello everyone and welcome to Groovy Sauce and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the TCL 50 inch 4K Roku TV, specifically the 50S425. I got this thing on Amazon for $269.99. It might be lower by now, but at the time it was a bestseller on Amazon. It's got great reviews. Everyone seems to say really good things about this TV. I needed an upgrade. My previous TV is a 2008 720p uh, Samsung. Definitely needed an upgrade here, so I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Okay, so just going ahead and snipping through the plastic tape there. Doing that on both sides, breaking the seal. Getting into the box now and just pulling out the top styrofoam protectant piece and there's one leg there up top and there's also some literature there as well as a bag holding the remote power cord etc uh, here's another leg so I'm just gonna go ahead and set this piece of styrofoam to the side there we go and there's just another piece of styrofoam in there protecting the TV let's go ahead and grab that set that to the side and now we're just going to go ahead and put the box on the floor so I can get to the TV a little bit better. It was a little bit awkward there on the table. And picking this thing up, as of note, it is very, very light. Uh, super, super light. Maybe about 20 to 25 pounds at the most. Uh, a lot lighter than my old TV. Uh, and that's awesome, you know, in case you're wanting to mount the TV or just move it around anywhere. It's super light. You should have absolutely no problem with that. All right, so here we have just taking off the styrofoam uh, sleeve or a little blanket they have there, the protectant sleeve. Uh, yeah, and there we go. The TV is successfully out of the box. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and look actually inside of this plastic bag here, going ahead and opening it up. And here we have a little pamphlet talking about surround sound stereo systems with the TV. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Also inside of the bag is another little bag holding the remote. Let's go ahead and get the remote out of there. Now this remote's Really simple looking, but it does have the streaming services on there. Roku, Netflix, uh, Hulu, ESPN. Also inside the bag here, we got one of these RCA cords that has a 3.5 uh, millimeter audio out. So in case you want to hook up your stereo to the TV. Also, you have your power cord here. Also inside of the bag, you get some batteries for your remote. Very nice set those aside also inside of the bag you get some screws to attach your legs to the TV very nice setting those aside also up top here I got the legs they're in plastic bags so we're going to go ahead and get those out of there there's one it's still got some plastic on it but we'll deal with that in a second also here is the other leg just get that out of the plastic bag and there it is leg number two all right, so just going ahead and screwing the legs in. It's really simple. Just, just insert the screws and make sure it's snug. Here's the back of the TV. You got your optical out, your audio out, your AV in, cable out, three HDMI ports, Ethernet, USB, and a reset. Okay, so right out of the box, integrated into the UI is Roku TV featured free. Here you can find all sorts of free content offered by Roku TV. They also have a movie store here. It's the Fandango Now Movie Store, where you can find a bunch of premium content in the form of movies. They also have a Fandango television store there as well, integrated into the UI, just in case you want to buy some television episodes. Uh, that's just everything that's in included in the UI itself. You can also add a bunch of channels. There's a bunch here uh, for every kind of taste. You shouldn't have any problem finding exactly what you're looking for. So now I just want to talk about the responsiveness of the TV. I loaded up the Tubi app and just check out how fast I fly through these menus. Immediately after hitting the remote there, you can just see how fast I just fly through everything here. The TV is really super responsive and quick. 
So now moving on to the settings, there's a bunch of them here on this TV. It doesn't matter how you want this TV to look, you can pretty much achieve any kind of look you want, whether that be dark, light, a lot of color, what have you. You can just actually set this up to your exact specifications, absolutely no problems whatsoever. All right, so moving on now to gaming performance. I actually have the TV hooked up to my PC. As you can see, I'm playing a game here, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and the game looks fantastic. Everything performs really well. The refresh rate is nice and high. I have absolutely no issues with jitters or any kind of frame rate droppage or anything like that. It just looks so wonderful and everything plays so buttery smooth. Uh, uh, it looks wonderful as well while you're playing the games. I have absolutely no issues here. I was kind of skeptical going into this, uh, seeing that it is a TV and not necessarily like a monitor that's made for playing uh, uh, games on your PC, but it just looks wonderful all around. Here I am playing some GTA 5 and it just looks amazing again. The action is nice. I have no problems with it at all. And at $270, I don't think that you're going to be able to get a better better TV uh, for playing your games here, especially at 4K. Uh, yeah, everything here is just really wonderful all around. Moving on now to just overall picture quality, I have some video of Microsoft Flight Simulator going on, and I gotta tell you, I was pretty awestruck watching this footage. It is in 4K, it looks stunning. The TV, the colors are just so amazing. The clarity is amazing. I was just awestruck the entire time. Keep in mind, I am coming from a 720p TV, but still, I've seen an HD TV before, a 4K TV before, and this was pretty amazing. I mean, for a $270 TV, I don't think you could get much better at all. Okay, so overall, I really enjoy this TV, whether it's just the regular TV part or how it performs with my actual PC. Everything here all around function, looks, and it just performs all around just perfectly. I would absolutely buy this again at its price point. It is amazing. I think it really deserves its position on that Amazon bestsellers list because it actually is just a really wonderful TV. The Roku is amazing. Uh, yeah, the picture's amazing. All around very pleased here. Absolutely would buy this again. All right, everybody, that pretty much does it for this video. Make sure that you like the video, of course, if you like the video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content from me. I don't always do product review type videos. Sometimes I also do fast food reviews, video game gameplay, and just about anything else I feel like doing whenever I have the free time. So with that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you next time.